I want to bring in uh, Annabella uh, Bonato from Guelph, Ontario. Annabella is the manager and research associate at the Intact Center on Climate Adaptation. Great to have you here on CTV News Channel. Thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. As you've been sort of listening to us reporting, you've been even just hearing people on regularly talking about the burn in their eyes, uh, their throat and their lungs. Talk to us about what we're experiencing right now with this type of air quality and what these wildfires are doing. So what the wildfires are doing are spreading contaminants across um, Canada, as you saw, and as far as the Netherlands, as you just showed. Um, so what you're seeing is particulate matter um, that's very, very, very small. Um, if you were to grab one of your hair strands, it's about 30 times smaller than that. Wow. Okay. Um, and there's so much of it in the air. There's about 40 times, 20 to 40 times more than usual. Mm -hmm. uh, that's getting into your eyes. That's why you're feeling the itchy eyes. Um, it's getting into your nose and it goes directly to your lungs and even your bloodstream. So uh, we know that some people, the, the advice is, you know, to put an N95 or a K95 mask on to sort of... <clears throat> excuse me, help with some of that. How long does this sit in the air for? What needs to happen in order for that to truly clear out? That's an excellent question. Um, as you see where I am right now, it's quite windy. Mm -hmm. So you think, okay, that's going to take away the, the wildfire smoke, but it's actually bringing it down to Guelph. We're lower from where the wildfire is happening, as is happening in New York. Mm -hmm. So you're hoping for wind, but away from the cities. Um, but from the way that it's happening, it's going down. So now we're hoping for rain. Mm -hmm. A good rain event will help tame these fires and also um, get rid of some of the contaminants in the air that we're seeing right now. And when you're talking about a good rain event, you're talking for a few days, I'm sure. Just one day is not going to cut it. No, we need a, a good couple of days, which we do have in the forecast for my area right now. Um, I'm hoping for northern Quebec as well. Mm -hmm. um, that will help over the weekend, but this isn't over yet. Even if your area has cleared up, I've been hearing from family, um, my area is doing better, it can still come back down. So just stay alert, keep checking uh, what the index is in your area, try not to go outside if you can, mask up if you do need to, and right. check on those that are vulnerable. What are your concerns? We're just at the start of the wildfire season here, and clearly just at the at the start of this, we're seeing um, the large impact, not just in Canada, but we're seeing it in parts of the United States. We're also hearing, you know, Norway, Iceland, Greenland, they're going to be affected as well because of the push of those winds. Um, what are your concerns? Because we've had so many conversations about climate change and the role it plays in all of this, and we're seeing all of this unfold real time. It's happening right now. It's been happening for some time. My concern, as you said, is we're very early in the season. 50% mm -hmm. of fire starts because of humans, and that's what we're seeing now. It's too early for it to be lightning. But as the season progresses, the other 50%, the lightning, will be still causing wildfire. So we're just starting. Mm -hmm. um, start preparing for what's coming. My concern is that even though you can see this is a whole of society, everybody's being affected, not right. just the people living near the fire, um, that we're going to forget that in the near future when it's not here anymore and not prepare for it ahead of time for like next summer, let's say. Well, I was going to say where we haven't even officially hit summer yet. What are you going to be watching for then over the next few months? Um, the forecast, um, again, we're we're going to experience a warmer summer, a drier summer in Canada, and everybody is alerting across Canada, be prepared. There will be more fire. There will be more extreme heat this summer. So that's what we're looking for. If you can do things around your home ahead of time to prepare, um, get the WeatherCan app, for example, great alerts on there. Right. In a few days, you're going to see something and then you can prepare your home, the people around you. Yeah. And stay as safe as you can. Such important information here. I mean, we don't want our mm -hmm. viewers to be frightened, but it is critical information as well in terms of what we're experiencing right now. Annabella, really appreciate you giving us your time today. Dr. Annabella Bonata, Manager and Research Associate at the Intact Center on Climate Adaptation. Really appreciate this. Thank you again.